What's up, YouTube? Well, here's an ongoing update with the rodent problem we've had up here on the river. I already had spotted some sign in the pickup, in the engine compartment on the pickup, and I'm pretty positive it was the same rodent, so I really wasn't too worried about it as much. But today I thought, okay, I better get in there and clean it out and see if he did damage anything in there. And uh, it doesn't appear that he damaged anything except for the insulation on the firewall. So let me show you that. So I just got in here with my battery powered blower, my little Makita blower, which is awesome. Now you can see his little footprints see him on there he was up on here uh, the one sign that I noticed when we started uh, attacking the other thing was that he peed up here and so there's some signs across the front here you can see his little footprints there's more more footprints on top of the battery so up here you can see where he was chewing on the insulation and actually I'm pretty thankful that that's in there because he could chew on that instead of chewing through some wires so with our chosen lifestyle this is this this problem's not going to uh, go away because we're not going to not go somewhere because there's pack rats yes. there's wood rats up in the forest there's these guys along the river Maybe this is a river rat. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know all their species break down. Uh, but I know they're just doing what they're compelled to do. They're following their instincts. They're finding cave-like structures and going in there and trying to nest. Because if you hike in the mountains around here, you'll find their, you'll find little caves. And when you look in there, they're just covered with droppings. And uh uh, typically they'd be covered with droppings and not really that much of a nest but so the number one solution that I'm aware of is open your vehicle hood up at night and that way you have eliminated the cave so when we were down in Quartzsite last winter I saw some people parked with their hoods open in their RV compartment engine compartments open and I thought what the hell they got engine problems here but nah, so if you see that when you're out camping, people are trying to, uh, or potentially, people are trying to keep the pack rats out of their vehicles and out of their RVs. So, in the other video that I mentioned, we show all the countermeasures, the peppermint oil and the bounce dryer sheets and the electronic trap is ultimately what uh, solved the, this guy's problem here. It just seems weird to me to leave your engine compartment open, but and and it kind of a nuisance to have to open it at night and shut it in the morning. But how big of a nuisance, you know what I'm saying, compared to having to replace a wiring harness or having a a wire problem that you can't locate because it's off in a corner somewhere. I don't know. It's an unpleasant thing, and it makes me uncomfortable, but. I think all that I can do in a situation like this is try to learn all I can about it and then try to uh, deploy the countermeasures to keep it from happening. So I'm pretty comfortable with what we did in the bus, but when we get back into, uh, we're running back in to the farm for the 4th of July, I'm going to add a light underneath the front of the bus and a light in the engine compartment on the back of the bus because I have tons of power in my battery bank and I can power the LED lights all night for hardly anything and they don't like light so and I think that's why you see people deploying the LED lights around their RVs I don't know how effective it is but I'm just like I don't want to string lights out every night I'm just going to put some lights up under the bus but I flip a switch and it lights up the underneath of the bus at the front and at the back and then uh, I don't know how much good it would do to put one in the under bay in the middle because 
so much cargo in there that the light wouldn't really travel all over but I'll figure that out when I get there so I'm still cleaning up from where the rat was in the pickup I mean this whole rat thing it kind of plays with your head <laughs> Everybody, well, not everybody, but a lot of people are like, oh my God, rats, disgusting, gross. Really? Seems like society has put a lot of bad rap on the rats. But I see, you know, I totally get it with the disease and everything that can be caused by rats. So basically I'm going to take 409 and wipe this down everywhere that he left a mess. Take water and shake it up with peppermint oil. Hopefully it'll mix well enough that I can spray it around in here. But I think the ultimate solution for this problem is what's been known for a long time by hunters and backcountry people is leave your hood up at night so they, they don't feel safe because it's not a cave. I don't know why, but it's just hard for me to leave the hood up at night. It's like I don't want to have to leave the hood up, but what is the big deal? Just put the hood up through the night, put it back down in the morning. Anyhow, I'm going to make an effort to do that. I'm going to get after the clean in here. So I'm basically just going to wipe down everywhere that I see footprints. The other thing is the air box here. He could get into that. I'm going to check this air, air filter. Because see, he could get in right through here when the hood's open. There's a gap here. Or even when it's closed. There's a gap for air to get in. And uh, yeah, he could end up down in here with a nest. You got to look underneath this filter to see if he got in there. Because that's where he would have come in. Is He would have come in through there and had his nest thing going on in here. So, got to do... Look down below where the air comes in on that thing, not just up on the top. Got this cleaned up pretty good. I'm gonna go mix up some peppermint oil. Thing about it for me is, after I'm done cleaning this and everything, I feel like my hands are dirty for hours. It's, it's just the stigma associated with having rodents running around where you're cleaning. Ooh, like, ooh. <laughs> gonna work my way through it. All right, so this is a big experiment. I'm gonna try 10 ounces of, 10 ounces of water and 30 drops of peppermint oil. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm just gonna shake this up and go spray it around out there and see if it smells. It smells good in here. pretty strong. Awesome, that's easy to mix up. You guys, one of the coolest things about the, this new GoPro camera is the stabilization is awesome. I can walk up and down the stairs. I have the horizon leveling locked on. So this thing is awesome for vlogging. See, look, I'm walking. I'm not a very smooth walker and smooths it all out. So cool.
that's not really going to hold down any electrical parts. Somebody else might have a better idea of what to spray and not to spray. So I'm feeling pretty good, and I'm also feeling darn lucky that uh, he didn't chew up any wires. The engine compartment looks really awesome. It's all washed off. <laughs> I don't really know what to do. You got any better ideas about what I've done? Leave them in the comments so I can learn, or maybe somebody else that's watching this can learn how to protect your vehicle from pack rats out in the wild, or wherever you're at where there's pack rats. And I think I, I washed it down. I put this spray on it. I'm going to start leaving the hood open. I'm going to force myself to do that. And that's it. So really hope everybody's having an awesome day. Lots of love and joy in your life. And lots of friends and family to share it with. If you like what you're seeing on the channel, please consider subscribing. Hit the like button and ring the notification bell so we can share our message with more people. Share our journeys. And I just hope you have an amazing, awesome day. Thanks for watching.